Hello, I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch, and I've got a microwave burger to try today. Gino's Flame Grilled Quarter Pounder Cheeseburger. Got this from Morrison's, £1.30. It's not Gino De Campo, it's just Gino's, which is a brand I'm not familiar with. So if you are, if you're familiar with it, tell me about it. Right, there's the uh, traffic light system, if you want to have a look at that. It won't focus, but you can have a look at it. Oh, lost pretty colours. Um, right, microwave wall, net weight 200 grams. Right, now, the, the sauce. I said I put one in a, a mug of water to, to thaw out. You get two of these in there, and this says, Sriracha hot chilli sauce, Thai Naga chilli. Now, Naga chillies, or Naga, however you say it, they're meant to be incredibly hot, aren't they? And if you look at the ingredients of the sauce, it's chilli, 44%. So, I'm just having one of these. I'm putting the other one back in my freezer. In fact, let's go in the freezer now. If it's a really good sauce, then I can have it with something else. Right, let's have a look at the burger. So, I haven't cooked it yet. There it is. On frozen burger with cheese. Right, what can I tell you about this? Um, yeah, you have to microwave it. I know that. Uh, ingredients. Oh, I look at all the ingredients of everything in this. You don't. You really don't want to know. There's so many e numbers. I don't want to know. Actually, no, I don't want to know. Well, how much meat is in the burger? Sixty-nine percent, and it's eleven percent beef fat and then all sorts of other things. I don't really want to look at the ingredients too much because it'll scare me off. Right, I'm gonna stick that in the microwave, cook it up, and I'll eat it. Well, I'll try it. <laughs> I might not eat it all if it's absolutely horrible. Oh yeah, there's one thing I was gonna tell you. You look on the back there, you see the burger with like flames around it. It says, serving suggestion. What's the serving suggestion? To set fire to it? Uh, I know that's relating to the flame grill thing, but yeah, it just it, it made me laugh because I think I'm thinking, is it so awful that I'm going to have to set fire to it to get rid of it? Right, okay, I'll stick you on pause, stick that in the microwave, and bring you back. And I'm back, and here it is. And it smells really odd. Not very nice at all. I've cut it in half so you can have a better look at it. And this bit here didn't have any cheese on it. So I thought I could try that on its own. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Gino's Burger, £1.30. I haven't put the sauce in it yet because uh, I'm scared of it. <laughs> I don't know how hot it's going to be. Right, let's take it out of the water. Just dry the uh, sachet off a bit. I'll try a bit of this sauce on its own before I put it in the burger. But uh, yeah, first of all, let's try this little bit of burger with no cheese on it and see what that's like. Oh, it does smell weird. I tell you what it smells like. <laughs> when you get some clothes that you haven't washed for a long time and they smell all sort of musty and dirty and that's what it smells like. Okay. Now I've never eaten <clears throat> dirty, musty clothes that have never been that haven't been washed for a long time, but I imagine that's what they taste like. That's really not very nice. Not very nice at all. Okay, let's try it in the bun with the cheese. <clears throat> that 
That doesn't taste like any beef burger I've ever tried in my life. That's not pleasant. That's really not pleasant. Oh dear. <clears throat> right, let's try the sauce. This might liven it up. This might make it absolutely incredible. You never know. Right. Let's try a bit of this sauce on its own. Whee. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's hot. That's a hot sauce, quite sweet. That's quite nice, actually. It's almost got like a honey sweetness about it. Very hot. That's a nice sauce, that really is. I'm glad I, uh, I kept the other one, though. Because I wouldn't want both of them in this burger. I'm going to, well actually, no, I'll just put it in the half I've tried. Because I might not eat the other half. Right. Here we go. Right. I've probably put about half of the sachet in there. Let's try that. Let's see if that's made any improvement. Well, it's a slight improvement because it's a nice sauce, but that is not a nice burger. I've got loads of bits stuck in my teeth. Bits of, um, bits of what? I really don't want to know. It doesn't taste like beef. It's quite a firm consistency. Um, it's just, we're um, spitting a bit out there. It's just not nice. It's not nice. Right. So if you see this in, in Morrison's, in the freezers, run past it. Don't even stop and think, oh, I might, might get... No, don't, no, don't, no, don't even think about it. Just run past it. Oh, bleh. Oh, will I eat any more? I might have a couple more bites, but... The sauce is nice, though. Yeah, it's good sauce, but pound thirty for two little sachets of sauce is a bit expensive, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I've said it all, don't buy it. See you in the next video.